of the reason why I don't participate in disability centered events or rallies or protests. And I'm going to get broad with this because I feel this way about all of them. I live my life, as I always tell you guys, on a person to person basis. I'm not going to make an issue bigger than it has to be and I'm not going to blame a whole group of people for anything. In fact, many of my videos for Disability Pride Month have been, which it still is by the way, but those videos have been centered around trying to appeal to people living with disabilities about what we can do in our own community. It hasn't been to teach other people. It's been to fix what's broken within our group. The biggest reason though that I don't participate in any of this stuff is because it perpetuates division. It gets to the emotions of somebody and makes a, an issue bigger than it is and morphs it into something that it's completely not. And then that's when people start to blame a whole group of people. Oh, that person looks at me different. That person's staring at me. That person's snickering. Oh, all people that look like that person must hate me. It's really psychological warfare at this point to the people that they're getting to emotionally. Because it's clearly people who have been through something and they're playing on it. They're literally exploiting real emotions in people and making them feel like the whole world is that way. And it's just couldn't be further from the truth. And further, the possibly biggest reason why I don't participate in any of this stuff is because it is all manufactured. Do these separate groups have issues have things that they are right to want to advocate for yeah but all of these groups that become huge are funded and created by people we don't see who do not have a damn thing in common with anybody in the group that they created. Whether that is an able-bodied person creating a group for disabled people, whether that is a white person creating a group for black people. The higher ups are pulling the strings of all of us. And you know why? Division. They want to keep division and they don't want you to see that because they want you to think that you're doing something that's going to unify but all it does is pit people against each other have you actually taken a step back to notice that or are you so stuck in your emotions that you think you're still trying to do things for the greater good this is exactly why i say that i don't like these separate groups we are all human, we all deserve decency, we all deserve respect, we all deserve love, we all deserve unity. Everything else is separate, pitting us against each other because they know somebody's gonna have a problem with it. And you know what, furthermore, with all of the, I'm not gonna use the word, but what they do online when they don't want you to say something, They want us arguing online. You do know that, right? Whether they ban people or not, they want us arguing. It's not to silence us completely. They want the arguing because they don't want the unity. When are people gonna get that? Stop letting them jerk you around. Just, just take a minute to take a deep breath and think 
before you freak out about something. I just think it's it's sad really the amount of people who bought into it and allowed their emotions and mindset to be consumed with this bullshit boggles my mind and I realize that we all don't know the plights of each other but you mean to tell me in 2021, all of a sudden, there's more division than ever. I don't think so. It's manufactured division, and if you turn off the TV, you turn off the computer, most of us are more united than you think we are. Nobody hates you to whoever is watching this video. Nobody actually hates you. And all those hate groups that are called out by the higher ups that they want to label us, those are run by higher ups too. All of it. All of it is manufactured to jerk us around. And the sooner we realize it and actually unify against the real enemy, and I'm not talking violently, I am not saying that at all. I am saying unity. The sooner we stop bickering around each other and actually stop and think, wait a minute, and actually put the pieces together of all of the similar things that they're doing, why would we fight against each other then? There would literally be world peace if every single one of us stopped looking at our fellow human beings as bad and looked and thought, hmm, where did this story come from? Where did this narrative come from? really really think they don't want you to think you notice all the free thinking people and it's both sides now both sides are feeling it and I am loving it because you know what as pissed off as it's making you maybe for once and for all we'll be unified because they're doing it to all of us and like I said if you sit back and you think We put all of our attention to unity. It would make their skin crawl. And if for no other reason, that's why we should do it. You know, as I was a little cryptic in this video. I didn't want to get, that's the C word I was talking about earlier. But I hope you got my drift because it's been on my mind a lot for the last year and a half, but specifically today because people do feel it, you know, as much as there's those of us who see what they're doing and see, the un see that we want unity, there's people that they are getting to and it's really sad because then that means the real enemy might win and we can't let that happen so stick together stay united be kind and don't let them tear us apart okay that's all I have to say subscribe if you're new to the channel share this video with somebody that you think it could help and calm down even though I was a little nuts in my video myself uh, we just all need to take a breath and think critically that's all
Alright, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.